I wanted two eggs. Oh, Aiden. Okay. I'll tell you what, mate, give us a call back as soon as you can, will you? Yeah. I owe you one. Cheers. Good news. Maya wants me to shift some stock, and I've got a mate who might just be able to swing a deal our way. Looks like it could be a good week this week. I right, well, you could pay for breakfast, then. No problem, sweetheart. You do realise I don't have to be in work for another hour. I could still be in bed. What, all on your own? Now, where's the fun in that? Yeah, well, if you were a real gentleman, you would have brought me breakfast in bed with the papers. Is that what Dev would have done? What did I say that for? I don't know, I'm sorry. I wish you wouldn't do that. Look, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Yeah, come here. Come here. Won't do it again, promise. Warm Palmer ham, radicchio, and sun blushed tomatoes in a lightly char grilled baguette. A bacon butty by any other name still tastes as sweet. Yeah. So, opened a new deli across the road from the flat. Mm. Nice. Mmm, very nice. You haven't forgotten about this wedding, have you? Wedding? What wedding? Are you winding me up? <sighs> yeah, but only because it's so easy. You know, I wish you wouldn't do that. I'm not daft, you know. No, I know, I know, and I haven't forgotten, and we will be the stars of this wedding, baby. We will outshine the bride and groom. You do realise people might make assumptions if they see us together. You know, jump to conclusions. That's true. I mean, you're a good-looking girl, and I'm a handsome man. Well, maybe we should work out what we're going to say if they should ask. OK. Well, if they ask me... I'd have to tell him that you are the most important woman in my life. Does that sound okay? Yeah, that sounds fine. And if they ask you? Um, I shall say you're the man in my dreams. Oh, yeah, well, that sounds like we got that one covered. Has anyone seen Bethany's red shoes? Uh, they were in the kitchen. Oh, I'll put them in the hall. Oh! Do you know, do you think it's why spending a lot of money on a clapped out old banger? I mean, if you want a car for a few days, you can always borrow mine. It's not an old banger, is it? No, it's not. It's a nice, clean second-hand car at a fair price. And when the insurance money comes through on ours, we can sell this one and buy you a TV. Hey, we could upgrade to one with a climate control and a CD changer. I thought it was only blogs who got excited about CD changers and climate control. You shouldn't let me read the brochure. Well, I suppose you know what you're doing. So, am I going to buy it? Yes, buy it. Great. We're back on the road, then. Right, you ready? Yeah, come on. Hey, no, just a minute. Who fancies going out for their tea tonight? Bit of a treat, save you the trouble. Oh, fine by me. Um, I'm all right, thanks. I've got loads of school work. Oh, all right. How about you, sweetheart? Shall you and me go out for a tea? Yeah, if you want. Uh, well, don't sound so excited. <laughs> I'll pick you up after school. And what about football practice? We're uh, doing it at dinner time. They've got uh, another match on at end of school, so... Right, come on, then, before we're late for school. Oh. Sweetheart. Where the hell you been? It's only just gone half past. I've been in since eight. I won't be in all morning, though. Eh? I've got four meetings before lunch, and then tonight I'm going to Scotland. Well, listen, I think I've got a buy for the Allan order. Oh, yeah. Well, it's nothing solid, but I'm playing on a hunch. A hunch? That stuff should have been sold like yesterday. Because of you, we're carrying too much stock. We've got no cash flow. Can't survive like this, you know. All right, all right. Well, I'm on the case, aren't I? Right, see you later. Hello, Wonderworld. Yeah, Jeff. What do you say? <sighs> OK. Do you tell him we're flexible on price? No, listen, uh, tell him we'll knock off 50%, all right? <sighs> OK. Bye. You wanted to see these? Yeah. Everything all right? Nope. Not unless you want to buy the Alain order. Oh, no. I mean, you could do a response to busting, thanks. Not that I took any of it from here. I mean, I buy all my undies from that place next to market. Not that I think there's anything wrong with what we make. Yeah, right. Ailey, Ailey, that's enough, OK? Sorry. So, they don't want the Alain order? Oh, they want it. They just don't want to pay for it. Well, you can't make folks do things that they don't want to do. Well, I don't know. Twist someone's arm hard enough, you could get them to do just about anything. Tell you what, get the lads in packing to put that Alan stuff on the van, will you? And let me have those. What do you want them for? Bait. You hold the fort. I'm going to go see a man about some knickers. <laughs> just calm down, Max. You only to get wound up. It's my first day back at work, Ashley. I'm bound to get wound up. It's a huge milestone for me. I wouldn't leave my baby for eight hours. I will be back at dinner, though. 
We'll be fine. It's not the first time I've looked after a baby, you know. <sighs> I know, but you sure you're all right, you know, after the christening and everything? Oh, how many times do I have to tell you? I'm fine. Are you sure? People get divorced every day. It's no big deal. It is a big deal. Vaccine, go to work. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Go. Oh, I just feel so guilty abandoning my son, you know. What's he going to think of me when he grows up? Oh, don't worry, he won't remember. Do you think he might repress the memory? He's five months old, Maxine. Can you remember me leaving you to go back to work when you were five months old? I don't know. Why did you? See? He'll never know. Oh, do you think we're doing the right thing, Gash? Of course we are. I want him to respect me, not for somebody who just, you know, feeds him and cleans his bum. They're right, you know. It's hard for a woman to have it all. <laughs> go away! They're not open yet! Seeing as it's you, no doubt this is personal and private. I'll go and put kettle on. Okay, Fred. Why hey, shouldn't you be at work? Do you know we were talking last night, right? Yeah. Well, what do you think to Mexico? Uh, I don't. I don't know Mexico. No, but you know what it is, don't you? Um, Central America. Yeah. Well, what about that for a fortnight? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, why not? Yeah. Great. Okay. <laughs> and we'll look into it. Hang on. Are you serious? Yeah, of course I am, love. I mean, we've not had a holiday, have we? Not together. Oh, I thought you were messing about. Do you, do you really want to go to Mexico with me? Of course, yeah. Unless you want to go somewhere else. No, no. Mexico's great. It's just... I'm a bit stunned, that's all. Mm. No-one's ever asked me to go on holiday with them before. Apart from my mum and dad, but... Caravan in Skeggy's not quite Mexico with you and me, is it? Oh, no. I hope not. <laughs> anyway, uh, better get on, love. See you later. Bye. Hello. Oh, hello, mate. How are you? What are you up to these days? Yeah? OK. Oh, you better chuck in a couple of bags of crisps and all. Hey, is there going to be any celebs at this exhibition today? It's Uni Art Project, not the Tate Modern. Yeah. yeah, but there's going to be press there. He said it on the leaflet. Hey, and you're an artist. They're going to be wanting a picture. What are you going to wear? I don't know. I'm decided. Um, did I hear right? Have you got a piece of work in an art exhibition? Uh, yeah, yeah, Taya is going to be the star of the show. She's a major conceptual artist. <laughs> hey, you should come. All the top knobs are going to be there. Well, I'm impressed. Oh, it's nothing really, yeah. It's not open to the general public. It's just a bunch <laughs> of uh, student projects. So, is it just a coffee? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's a shame. Sit down, I'll bring it over. Yeah, right, thanks. And well done again. What did you tell him that for? You want as many people there as possible. No, I don't. I just want to pass my course, that's all. Uh, you know you're not going to stop me from coming. I wouldn't even try. Oh. But just keep a lid on it, all right? Oh, I don't understand you. If it were me, I'd be bragging about it all the time. I'd be shouting it from the rooftops. <laughs> shouting what from the rooftops? Uh, the factory girl's cake order. It'd be quicker than coming over. You could use the phone. Dial up and order them. Then they could be ready when you come to pick them up. Oh, that's a good idea, is that? Oh, I don't know. You batters, Biz. You're so creative. <laughs> Say 5.25. You must be joking. I don't even know why I'm talking to you. Why would I ever want to do business with you again? Well, that's a good question. Have you got an answer? Yeah, because you got no choice. Wrong answer. Take your van and clear it off. You're wasting my time. Hey, come on, come on. You and me, we're businessmen. We can sort this out. You robbed my factory! You wouldn't pay for your order, pal. I was ready. You never gave me a chance. Hey, listen. You and me, we come from the same mould, eh? I don't think so. Yeah, of course we do. We see an opportunity and we take it. And uh, we need each other. You see, I don't want to stay in my shadow forever. And you need some new contacts. <laughs> Let's face it, most businesses around here, they're not going to touch you with a barge pole, are they? I could be one of the few people that could put some deals your way. Speaking of which, come on, have a look at these. What's this? Top of the range order, looks like going belly up. We're going to be stuck with more stock than we know what to do with. Mike wants to get rid, so, uh, well, reckon I could swing you, what, 2,000 dozen? Bad cost. Now, that is a good deal by anyone's book, especially for someone who can move fast. What do you think? You interested? I might be. But why should I trust you? Why? Because if Mike even knew I was t telling you about this, he'd find me on the spot, wouldn't he? Now, 
You can either dub me in, or you can do a deal with me. Why don't you come inside? No, not till we sorted out the old business first. OK. I'll take it. I'll get my boys to unload the van. Not until i got your cash in my hands, you won't. I don't keep that kind of cash here. OK, I'll be off then. Nice talking to you. Uh, well, wait. Give me five minutes, I'll see if I can sort something out. All right. I know. I counted it. I meant the order. <laughs> you counted all them boxes? I counted every pair of knickers. It's a bit early, but why don't we go for lunch? I know a nice place. Oh, yeah, I don't think so. Oh, got to go. Stuff to do. Sure. <laughs> but we've uh, still got to talk about this new deal. What new deal? The samples you showed me. You said you were looking for a fast buyer. I lied. You what? I lied through me teeth. That's right. I made the whole thing up. Now listen to me. I wouldn't do a deal with you if you were the last man alive. And I'll tell you this. I intend to tell everybody I know in this business not to do deals with you either. You love! Go on then. Have a go. Come on. Get out of here. You're on mouth, aren't you? Pleasure doing business with you. You've got to go before you become a vegetarian. Don't know. You know, loads of top models and pop stars are vegetarians. The thing is, I don't like vegetables. I mean, I like chips and beans and macaroni cheese, but I can't stand broccoli and sprouts. Have you seen the film Signs? Yeah, I saw it when it first came out. Is it all right? It was okay. Aid hasn't seen it. He must have done. I was thinking of asking him. Do what you like. Go for it. Hey, Charlotte's been singing your praises all morning. Yeah, why well, don't you every morning? Well, it's nice to see her so happy. Good. You keep her that way, yeah? Oh, yeah, I'll try. How's she coping? How's he coping? Doreen. She took a bit of a battering after christening. They bruise easily, the fur of sex. Well, some of them. She's threatening illegal action. Divorce. Right. So, no signs of her moving out, then? Right. Joe, Joe, where are the boxes? What boxes? The Allahan order. They were stacked in packing when I left, and now they've gone. Oh, I don't believe this. What? Well, that crook Dev, he's only gone and nicked it back while the lads have been on the lunch break, hasn't he? He's what? Hey, calm down. It's OK. I sold it. <laughs> you sold it? Count the money. Well, who are two? Naveen. No. Yep, full price and cash. Hey, you sure this isn't funny money? I checked every note myself. <laughs> oh, well done. You are a star. Hey, one o'clock, I've got a meeting with Hollands. Do you want to come? Uh, no, I've got some stuff to sort out here. Right, well, I'll put this in the bank and uh, straight after lunch, I'm going to Scotland. And, uh, you can handle anything here, can't you? I want to spend as much time as I can with Adam. All right, well, listen, you have a good time. And you can pay the girls their bonuses now because you are. The number one man. <laughs> oh, thank you. He seems happy. Yeah. Uh, hey, come in. Uh, yeah, we're just off for his dinner. Do you want me to lock up? Uh, no, I'm going to stay here. You couldn't do us a favour, could you? So, what do submariners do at these reunions? Oh, we get drunk mostly, and then we tell each other stories we've all heard a hundred times before. Sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. I mean, you get to know blokes pretty well when you're in a tin can with them for months on end. You end up knowing your mates better than you know your wife. So what's the problem? <laughs> Shelley's not keen. No, it's just we're getting on really well at the minute and, you know, I don't want to spoil it. But you talk to her about it. Well, they only rang me this morning. Yes, I know, talk to her. And I will, when I get a chance. 
Gina, um, Joel says, can you go over to the factory straight away? What? Well, I'm working. Uh, he's had a bit of an accident and he's asking for you. An accident? What, what kind of accident? I can't see you tonight. Because it's too risky. Besides, I'm going to Toy's exhibition. Is he all right? Have you seen him? Seen him? I could come with you. No, because if people see us together, they're going to get suspicious. Hey, nobody's going to be suspicious about seeing me at an art exhibition. I love art, me. Hiya, Kirky boy! And what are you two whispering about? Uh, we were just talking about Toy's art exhibition. What art exhibition? No, it's nothing really, Les. It's just a college thing. She's one of the artists. You what? She never said out to me. No, she don't want to make a fuss. She's hardly told anyone. I mean, I only know because we share a flat. And I only know because I love art. Oh, yeah. Where is this art exhibition? <laughs> What's this? It's a picnic. To make up for not getting breakfast in bed. In an accident. I was expecting ambulances outside. You're out of breath. You know, I've just run all the way across the street. I'm sorry. In that case, I'll have to make sure you're not had a wasted journey, won't I? Now, by my reckoning, those girls have got about mm, 42 minutes of their lunch hour left. Which means you and I have got 42 minutes in which we won't be disturbed. It's very nice, Richard. Well, it's done a few thousand, but it'll do for now. Yes. Now, look, I thought I'd take David Tempin bowling after school, so I'll bring him home about seven, OK? Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, will you be giving him tea at your ass? No, 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 we're staying here to the bowling. They've got cafes and everything there. They've even got a bar. Oh, well, that's great. Well, I'll see you at seven. All right, it's very nice. Think you was doing getting me involved with these people. I was doing you a favour. A favour? You're driving me under. Joe Carter has ripped me off twice now. Oh, why did I listen to you? You know nothing about the rag trade. I'm beginning to think you know nothing about business full stop. Uh, Naveen, if you were to pay when you were supposed to, we wouldn't be what? in the... This is my fault. It's standard business practice. You always pay at the last possible minute. Except when uh, Dev has set up the deal. Then you end up having your warehouse ransacked by ex-cons. Well, look, if you want me to talk to Mike, if Joe Carter's been going around making bogus <laughs> hey, promises hey, Beth, and... Uh, don't talk to Mike. Don't talk to anyone. You want to do something for me? Stay away. Stay a long way away. Stay out of business you know nothing about. Uh, you could tell Joe Carter if he comes anywhere near me, I'll punch his lights out. said she'd mind Bethany tonight if I fancy going out. Yeah? You got a date then? No. I was thinking of asking you. Ask me what? If you fancy going to the pictures tonight. What, to see signs? Yeah. That's creepy, that is. What's creepy? Well, Candice asked me the very same thing no more than half an hour ago outside of school. We're going to catch the 7.45. Why don't you come? She asked you out? Yeah. She's already seen it. Well, maybe she likes it. Or maybe she likes me. Maybe she'd like a fat lip. Oh, I thought you two were friends. Yeah, so did I. Hey, you look dropped dead gorgeous in that. Do you reckon? Yeah. Gina, can I have a word, please? Oh, what kind of word? In the back. Won't take long. Please, it's important. Yeah, well, I'm busy. Two minutes. <sighs> Two minutes. Yeah. All right, let's... 
truth of the matter is that I still have feelings for you. Okay, strong feelings. Oh, well, I don't like where this is going. No, please, Gina. Don't touch me. Look, I know that we can't go back to where we were. I accept that. I accept that it was my fault. But that doesn't mean that I've stopped caring about you. Is that it? Can we go now? Gina, you are a beautiful, intelligent, incredible woman. And you deserve better than me, much better, better than Joe Carter. Oh, change the record, Eddie, because it's getting really boring. I'm worried about you. Yeah, well, I'm a big girl and I can look after myself. Can you? Can you? I'm not so sure. Well, let's see. I spent a lot of time with a lying, deceitful, manipulative man, so yeah, I think I'd know another one if he came along. Yeah? So where was Joe Carter last Monday night? I told you. I don't want to play any more games. Look, I'm not, I don't want to get the guy in trouble. I'm not going to go blab into anybody. But, but if he hasn't told you what I know, then he still isn't telling you the truth and nothing but. Why do you hate him so much? What did he ever do to you? Where did he say he was? In bed with a bad stomach. Last Monday, Joe Carter broke into my cousin's warehouse and he stole an order of underwear, a big order. He also stole all the paperwork for this order so it would look like the thing had never been delivered. Now, everybody knows this. The police know this. But Mike Baldwin lied for him and he got away by the skin of his teeth. You're loving this, aren't you? What would you wear for an art exhibition? Something smart or something tasty? Where is it? In the office. What's going on? Come on. Joe? Hey, talk about perfect timing. Just about done here. Tell you what, she went out for a meal tonight, somewhere special. I'm working. So? Call in sick, Shelley won't mind. Not like you did last Monday. What do you mean? Well, you told me that you were sick in bed. But some folk actually think you were robbing a worries. Who told you? It doesn't matter who told me. I said who told you? So you're not denying it, then? Joe, you lied to me. I want to know who Dev told, you. told me! Dev! Oh, I'm going to kill him. I am. I'm going to flame and kill him. Mm -hmm.